see if we can play Q game. Bam, someone's there, go. Oh, I probably have about two more leagues, or not leagues, two more matches in me. The back is just like, you're done. What if we added monkey to this list? You could try. We'll mulligan this one lander. It's not a good land for us either. This hand's a lot better. We'll keep. I don't really want to get rid of anything. Let's get rid of the Day of Judgment. We'll give Elspeth a chance here. All right. By the way, we got... Yeah. Got the snack. Oh, getting up was a bad idea. <laughs> Ley line of sanctity. And the garden. All right. And we have a vindicate. Things are looking great. We're going to destroy this opponent. Oh. Forward. Misty Leyline Garden Glimpse. Blow up the token. Yeah. Wave Sifter. Got a couple clues. All right, time to blow up some lands, ladies and gentlemen. Boom bust number one on the flagstones and the steam vents. Dang, they've got clues still. Misty rainforest. Do they go fetching? They do. This is good. This is good. Hallowed Fountain. Shoxen plays a new wave sifter. That's fine. Lots of clues. Imagine if we drew Karn here. Imagine for a moment that we draw Karn. Blow up another land here, pass the turn. Should I just vindicate the last land? If they miss a land drop, I might just do it. <laughs> I didn't get to figure out what you were doing, opponent. No need to, exactly. All right, let's enjoy some of this dessert. Mm. Yes. Mm. Yes. You know what? My opponent is based YOLO swag. This is a one lander. Keep it. Opponent mulls to six and mulls to five and mulls to four and mulls to three. The end is near opponent. YOLO. <laughs> Do I go again? Let's do it. We'll give them another chance. <laughs> Let's play first. No, bad hand. All right, we can work with this hand. Let's go. Keep, we'll get rid of a fetch land. Gonna go Bloodstain Mire, Fetch Triome, Bastern. There's that Sanctity again. Your move, opponent. Let's see if we can get a, a good game going. There's the Garden again. There's the Garden again. We're gonna ramp ourselves here. Instead of my opponent. Gonna go get red, red, white, white, black, black. 
Cool. Gonna do the Nahiri things as well. See if we can Emrakul them. Plays a Triome. Going to, um, I'm going to play Nahiri over the Vindicate here. See what else we can hit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, opponent. What do you got for three? Stomping ground shocks it in. And does nothing else. Interesting. Let's attempt to boom bust the Triome for starters, because it's not a black spell. Glimpse of Tomorrow coming in. Violent Outburst. Finds like rhinos. Glimpse. And we have Vindicate. How bad could it be? How bad could it be? Help! Bam! Get out of here, Gristlebrand. Your move, opponent. Nahiri's coming to get you. Opponent draws some cards. They fetch. Alright. You are at seven. There's the garden. Cool. Cool. Spin. Shardless Agent. In the Glimpse. 39 cards revealed. What oh, they hit? I don't know what they hit. It doesn't matter. We win. We won. All right. Submit again. Let's see if my opponent can take us on. Here. All right, we'll keep. We can blow some lands up. That's what we're here to do. Opponent Mulligan's a six. Oh, come on, base yellow slide. You can do this. There's that ley line again. I have no idea what they did. I didn't really pay attention. That's on me. Get rid of the token. Safer for multi-creature boards. But last god. I don't want to do that. I'm going to do the flagstones here. This way we maintain a black source for Vindicate here. Because this should resolve. We'll get the Triome. Now we have black. Opponent does fetch, thank you. We'll vindicate that land later. Misty Rainforest. Go ahead and vindicate the Triome here. Next up will be potentially a double cleansing wildfire. 
we top deck a land just trying to keep them off the lands that they have here and my opponent's pretty much done with us once again <laughs> all right nice what do we got it's not quite three hours i want to go three my stuff's melting my stuff is melting We'll try to find one more. We'll do one more for the night. Just waiting for that opponent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do 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 do. All right. We found someone. Any changes to prisons you made yesterday? Is Ragavan still recommended? Ragavan was never recommended. We are just testing it. I don't know. I know that's not the answer you want, but I, I really don't know, Thunderbird. I think Red Prison needs help, and it needs another color. I think that's my recommendation. Which is a bit of a weird recommendation, but I think that's where it's gotta be. All right, a little blood same mire here. We got lightning bolt. Maybe bolt a bird. Hopefully, we're gonna get to play some talismans here. Cavern of souls. That usually means creatures. This will look really good later. Guess I need to get a blood crypt. Welp. They named Snake. And then they didn't play a snake. Have I considered Green Prison? I have played a Green Prison. Not lately, but... Thunderbird, that's what I would probably end up starting to do. Because I think, I think you need to splash another color. If you want to be competitive. If you want to just play Red Prison and just kind of sit there and... You know, do your thing. You do it then. Playing the Indulgence Talisman, so I have double black here. I don't know if Plow Under is the greatest idea. I would use green to ramp into Karn and utilize that. You could do Plow Unders and then Liquid Metal Coatings and Trinospheres. Turning off auto yields because I do have a bolt that I could use. Black, white, smallpox, vindicate prison. <laughs> That's something. My opponent's floating green for a snake spell here. I hope they have a snake spell. There's snake. There's snake. I feel like I'm supposed to kill one of these. So things don't get completely busted. There's a cool card called the Rack. My bolt doesn't hit too many things either. And I think I Vindicate the Simic Growth Chamber or the Amulet. I kind of wonder if I just kill this. I really want to kill this land, though. Let's kill the land. I guess I could have played this land and put the talisman in, so I'm down a mana because I didn't play, didn't didn't add up mana. I don't think five versus six is going to be a problem next turn, though. I think I opened the door too fast. It's such a silly thing to say, but I... <laughs> All right, basic forest. 
And then we put something in. A Valakut. That's fine. Two mana. What are you going to do with that, opponent? Probably just save the dam, right? I don't shoot this. All right. Now we're good. Karn, Pithy Needle. Pithy Needle this. I like Pithy Needle over Liquid Metal Coating here. Be nice to my back. <laughs> this is the Scout, right? Yeah. I'm trying, Uncle DB. So the theory here is that I can uptick on the amulet and then I'm just going to damn blow up the board here. I'm hoping they play a dryad here or something. There's the dryad. Perfecto. Extra land's a little bit annoying, but not the scariest. Naming giant here. Attack Karn for one. Gonna uptick damn these away. I know this is gonna get something else. I think I still stay the course here to Damnation here. And we'll just make sure we get the Amulet as well right now. I say Damnation is just damn overloaded. Goodbye, creatures. We can follow this up with a bust side. I'm feeling pretty confident they won't be able to kill me. My cold dessert is melting. There's a sun home fortress. Uh. I think I just blow everything up, right? We're going to put the flagstones down here. I'm going to go get a Sacred Foundry. This is the one. There we go. Uh, let's just bust. They might create something here, I think. Make a 1-1 one, one, and I can pre prevent it from attacking me with a 2-2 two, two here. This feels pretty strong because I get rid of the Urzas. I get to fix my mana a little bit here and then I have... I have a couple different um, talismans. I am going to risk my other talisman here as a blocker. I highly doubt they have land plus, like, say, amulet here. Oh, they just skip straight to attack. That worked nicely. Sideboard we go. Probably not changing anything. Uh, engineer could be a thing you can do, but we'll just send it back. A lot of not sideboarding here in the casual queues. Stuff's... It's melting. Trying to finish it up before it all melts. <laughs> uh, last god, I'm probably going to do actually ice. I don't think heating pad would be a good idea. Icy hot. <laughs> We're going to do something. 
All right, we're going to keep this. I have a boom bust. I also have a cleansing wildfire. Cleansing wildfire could get rid of a dual land. What's up, Viridian? Say hi to my friend, Nina. Hello, Nina. Mile, you're on camera. I want to kill this. I need white. I also want red and I would like to get black with this because this doesn't get the black. It's interesting. I need like one of godless shrine and that would make this so much easier here because I have the red over here. I'm going to just do it this way. I kind of don't like this because if I draw a Cascading or Flagstones, then I can't Boom Bust. But I guess I can ramp out the Talisman and just go there. Deck is the last one, but the other two are for people that are interested in some of the other stuff we're playing from time to time. Probably the stronger of the lists are Vesper Lark there. Nice. All right. Simic growth chamber here. I'd probably just boom bust anyway. Do I? Maybe I'm supposed to cleansing wildfire here. Cleansing wildfire is probably okay to do. We have to get the blood crypt. So I have black. I get to draw as well. Just good. Set some back of land. It's kind of like a stone rain. Kind of like one. Nice. Right on time. It's actually pretty pretty well timed. If they play another balance land, I get to get it again. No. Explore. All right. Play a balance land. Come on. I get the ramp too? Oh man, opponent. Probability of my opponent conceding when I get to play Cascading Talisman and get him here. Especially since I have another cleansing right behind this. Bye bye, Gruel Turf. It was nice knowing you. I mean, the list can win. It can win. Just saying. <laughs> I think, obviously, it's a little bit matchup dependent. I've said this once or twice before. Modern is getting to that point where unless your list can somehow interact with a lot of different lists... Uh, you're definitely a little bit matchup dependent. And I think that's an okay thing for the, the format. Uh, I'd rather see people go more frequently 3-2-4-1 than just some list is dominating and then people try to beat the one list. I'd rather each game be kind of close. Maybe you're a little unfavored frequently, but you're just barely unfavored or favored. You're not like exceedingly favored or unfavored. And that... Makes for some nice closed games. Those couple in the queues we uh sort of smash through though. But hey, Ardu's doing his land destruction thing. The Vindicates are working really well there, so if you get into some of the matchups like that, you'll be uh, smooth sailing. We'll just say that. 